Shavua Tov, good morning everybody. This is a Dva Torah from TorahAnytime.com Broadcasted from Mug and David, Los Angeles. This week we're Erev Pesach. Pesach is tomorrow night, Monday night. And we're going to speak about one of the most central themes that we have. Tomorrow night we're going to be sitting around the tables all of Am Israel, all over the world, with our families, our children, and we're going to be discussing about the exodus of Egypt, fulfilling all the beautiful mitzvot that we do on the Seder night, eating the delicious matzot and the delicious food. One of the things we're going to be discussing, the main themes in the Haggadah, is the four sons. The Chachamim, our sages, wrote in the Haggadah that we have four different types of children. The Chacham, the wise person, smart person, the Rasha, which is identified as the wicked one, and we'll see why, the Tam, simple kind of a child, and She'eno Yodea Lish'o, called the one that doesn't even know how to ask any questions. So, we have to understand, what are these four sons representing? What are the four children over here? Uh, what are they exactly, what is the message that Chachamim want to tell us over here. Why is there four? Why is there not five? What exactly is going on here? One of the many, many ways to explain it is that these four children represent four different generations. The Chacham is the child number one. Child number one is Chacham. He's the wise one. So he's the generation number one. He's the first generation. He, thank God, he gets brought up and he goes to a Torah school. He keeps Torah and mitzvot. He keeps Judaism with a love. He's enthusiastic about it. And he becomes a chacham. He becomes a wise, clever person who loves Torah and loves mitzvot. And he wants to try and pass this down to his children, the next generation. But unfortunately, not everything works out well for him. And he gets married and he has a child. And this child that he has happens to, in the beginning, everything goes well, like Esav, till he became a teenager. In the beginning, this child studied Torah. He was brought up in the house of his father, who explained him Torah with love and happiness. But when he became a teenager, unfortunately, he went out to the world, and he opened his eyes, and he told his dad, basically, that everything that I learned, everything that you taught me, this whole Torah business isn't for me. And he rebels against his father, the Chacham. And he becomes the Rasha. He becomes the Rasha because he's against the Torah. He's against all what his father taught him. He, everything he learned from his parents' house, he throws the towel and he throws it away. So this Rasha is the second generation. Then after a while, this Rasha gets married. And he also has a son. He also has a child. Now this child... The Chachamim call him the Tam, the simple one. When he asks, each one of these children are asking a question on the night of Pesach. If you look at the Tam's question on the night of Pesach, the third generation, the simple one, he only asks two words. Mazot. What is this? Why does he only ask these two words? Because a person who's simple doesn't, have, doesn't really know how to ask and express himself. He asks things that very simply. But it's much, something much more deeper in these two words. Mazot. What is this that the simple one asks? Because the simple one is brought up in a house of the Rasha, of his father, the wicked man. And he's very mixed up because the whole year in his father's house, he sees that they don't eat anything that's kosher. They don't keep Yom Kippur. They don't keep Shabbat. They don't keep any mitzvot in the house. They don't have any Torah, nothing. Shabbat comes and the television's on. Shabbat comes and they're out in the theaters, they're out in the night, Friday night. He has no Torah life at all. He doesn't have a life of Torah mitzvot. So this time he's brought up in his father's house, the Rasha, who teaches him and educates him to be against the Torah and the mitzvot. But suddenly what happens? Once a year, this time, the simple one who's the third generation from the Chacham, goes to his grandfather's house for Pesach. Because even his father, the Rasha, once a year, goes to his dad's house for Pesach. He has to honor his dad, honor his mom. So this grandson, the Tam, goes to his grandfather for Pesach, and he sees that in his grandfather's house, everything's very different. 
he sees before his grandfather eats food, he makes a bracha, he makes a blessing to God, he thanks God, he does grace after meals, he blesses God after he eats food. And the time is sitting down the table, and he's asking his father, these two words, Mazot, what is this all about, daddy? We don't do this in our house. He's very mixed up. You know, he's getting a bit bored on the table, he's not used to it. He says to his father, can I watch the TV? And his father's kicking him under the table. He's like, shh, in this house, in grandpa's house, we have to respect grandpa. Grandpa lives his life very different than us. There's no TV. There's all these blessings. He keeps the Torah. He keeps the mitzvot. And the grandson, the Tam, is in his mind saying, Mazot, what is this all about? I want to know more. Explain me, what is this? Because in his father's house, he lived a different life. He lived a dual life. He lived the life of his father, the Rasha, who kicked the Torah away, who threw away the Torah. But once a year, he has this experience that he'll never forget. That he goes to his grandpa's house and he experiences the life of the Torah and the mitzvot. So he's very mixed up. So he says, Mazot. But further along, this guy gets married to the simple one, the Tom gets married, and he has a child. And he's the fourth generation away from the Chacham. But this child doesn't even know how to ask any questions of Pesach. He doesn't even know how to say, Mazot, what is this Pesach about? Do you know why, ladies and gentlemen? Because he's the fourth generation from his great-grandfather. His great-grandfather, the Chacham, when he was born, he passed away. So he never in his life got to see his great-grandfather, the Chacham. Never got to experience a real Pesach. Never got to experience what it means, a real Shabbat. And therefore, he had his father who was totally mixed up, the Tam, who didn't know what to do, only asked Mazot, his grandfather, who was the Asha, who totally went against the Torah, against the mitzvot. So he didn't even know how to ask a question, what is this Pesach tonight? And what do our sages say we do with such a child, with such a lost child away from Torah and mitzvot? Says our sages, at petachlo. You have somebody like that, a Jew who doesn't know anything, you ask the question for him. You bring him in. You pull her in to Torah. You pull them into Judaism. It's like you ask a little kid, five years old, what's your name? And he's shy, doesn't want to say. And you know his name is Benjamin, for example. You say, is your name Benjamin? And he smiles. You make him feel comfortable. You make her feel comfortable. The same thing is with this Jew who's lost. He doesn't know. She doesn't know how to ask. At Petachlo. Show him the sparks. Show her the sparks. What Torah is what it's all about. But ladies and gentlemen, how come there's only four generations? Where's the fifth generation? This one is also going to get married. They're also going to have a child. Why did our sages stop over here? And the answer is, because this child, the fourth generation, the She'eni Adali Shol, doesn't know how to ask. He's going to have a child. It's going to be the fifth generation. But that fifth generation is going to marry a non-Jewish woman. It's going to marry, unfortunately, a, a woman, a person who is not in the fold, not a Jew. So there is no more fifth generation. It's cut off. The link and the chain from all those generations, from the Chacham, it's gone all the way downhill. And it's cut off and it's assimilated. And unfortunately, it's so sad, but on the same hand, how true is it? Look what's going on today in the United States of America. The last 50 years, the Jewish population has grown negatively. How could it be? What happened to all the Jews? We're 13, 14 million Jews all over the world. We haven't grown at all. It's a negative growth. And the answer is, my friends, it's because the Hachamim are warning us, don't let this happen to you. That starts off with the Chacham and goes down to the Rasha and the third generation, the fourth generation. Make sure we make our life, we make our children, we enhance them. Show them the sweetness of the Torah, the beauty of the Torah, the love of the Torah, that this won't happen to them. We have to be very careful. So when we come to our Haggadah tomorrow night, we sit around the family table. Let's tell them this story. Speak about the exodus of Egypt. Speak about our personal exodus. Speak about the beauty of the Torah, the beauty of the mitzvot. And give love to each and every one. Don't push them away. Give them the love. And as Rather Shem, with the help of God, we should, have, we should wish you all, all of Am Yisrael, a beautiful Hag Kasher V'Sameach, a healthy and happy and prosperous Chag with good health and good life. Amen v'amen.